Oh! Oh! Woo! So, hello and welcome to a fresh video. I'm with Django. As you can see, he's very excited. We'll get him out in a minute. Django's my Doberman. He's a beast. He's sick. He's living the dream. Now, before we get into today's video, you obviously already have seen the title and the thumbnail. Today is about making Django understand his purpose in life is to be a trail dog. His purpose in life, number one, is to have a good time. His second purpose in life is to have an extra good time. And his third purpose in life is to be the best trail dog so he can have the best time. Today's going to be a sick video. Basically, I've been doing a lot of work in the last week or two, running with Django, Literally got him next to me on a bike on the side of the roads, running on public roads with him, riding on public roads with him. He's been absolutely killing it, to be fair to him. And today's the day when it begins to pay off. So, before we get out of this van and we ride bikes and we GoPro Django running next to me and we have a sick session, before we get into that, I wanted to remind each and every one of you that watch the channel that you can support my brand by going to the link in the description. Check it out. Owner, we are doing... Right now on Owner, we've changed the deal and we are doing a free t-shirt or a free jersey with every single hoodie, jacket or joggers that you order. So if you go over to the site, pick your favourite hoodie, add yourself one of our fresh jerseys or t-shirts to your basket and you'll get it for free. Get involved. Thanks for the support. It literally allows me to do everything that I do and it's sick. I could not thank you enough. So yeah, thanks for that. Go and get involved. Let's get straight to it. Stay. Wait. Holy crap. Woo. It's a bloody lovely day. It's not too hot for Django. Um, it's not too sunny and too warm. But I drove down in the camper for ease so that I could enjoy it at the moment. It's not getting rammed much. Some of you are probably well aware of what's going on in my life at the moment. Some of you probably aren't aware. I'm just going to cut to the chase and say it. Me and my ex-fiancé have parted ways and basically I was left with Django and the Frenchies as my dogs and obviously she's gone with Freddy and Rocco. It ended mutually, it is what it is. You've got to, you've got to move forward at all times in your life. Basically, now I've bloody got a right mission on my hands because I don't know if you can tell, but I am a bit stressed because I'm trying to make videos, I'm trying to do owner. And more than anything, I'm trying to make sure Django doesn't feel like neglected or anything. So, basically, I'm trying to do a lot with Django. So this has to work. He has to be a good trail dog. There's no way that he can't be a good trail dog. Because if he's not a good trail dog, it means that I've got a, a nightmare on my hands. Because you need to put a lot of time into Dobermans. So, they've got to work with your life a lot. So... Anyways, it is what it is. The Frenchies are different types of dogs than Dobermans. So some of you are probably thinking, whoa, well, the Frenchies were never trail dogs. But French Bulldogs can't do much. So, like, they get out of breath a lot because they're flat-faced. So they're, like, sort of like me home dogs. Like, I enjoy sleeping in bed with them every night. They sleep on my bed again. Um, all bits and pieces like that. And then Django's, like, me get out and get stuff done to, in the day dog. So I think it's going to work out. It's going to be good. Basically, I'm going to introduce you to Django right now. This is Django. His face is lovely. Look at his little face. And basically, I'm sort of just doing my own thing with him now. So I've got to teach him how to run next to my bike. I've got to teach him how to be better around people and dogs. I've got a lot on my hands. He's seen another dog down there. And now he's having a full scale breakdown. So hopefully this just socializes him, getting him out a lot more and doing a lot more with him. You good boy. You good boy. Come on. So this has to work. He has to be able to work with me and come riding with me. There's no other way. I'd have to stop bloody riding or something to make sure Django was all right. So it's got to work. So today is day one at the trails of sessioning with Django. So I'm gonna switch his to a GoPro and we're gonna go for a ride. I'm probably gonna start off how I've been doing it at home with him on a lead. I might ride the fire roads today all the way to some of the better lines like the Hope Line and stuff. Um, and then maybe make him follow me down the Hope Line as a bit of a mix up. We'll see how it goes. I think I'm gonna do like half the full run today just because I'm with Django and it's sort of hot and I'm just gonna see how he handles it. But I think it's gonna be good. I'm gonna start him on a lead, then I'm gonna take him off a lead when we get a bit further out. I'm gonna see how he is. I'm not trying to get him to like 
ride to heel or any of that stuff. I just want him to just be free, do you know? I just want him to enjoy what he needs to enjoy as a dog. So, there we go. Come on, lad. So, I've got a pad up. In, 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 in. You ready? Come on, in. So, so, that brings me to now. I've just got a pad up, put all my gear on, my GoPro on, and I'll be right back in a minute. Basically, I need my keys because my camper van's locked, but I forgot to put my generator back in. So I use my generator to charge like batteries, phones, laptop, all that stuff while I'm out and about on the road. I'm not sure what my future plans are with the camper van. I'm just doing nothing at the moment. Obviously, I don't know where things are going to take me. I don't know what's going to happen at all. So I've got... You can't see right now because the camera's on, so I'm going to do this. I've got a pouch with gravy bones in there, which I'm hoping will bring him back a little bit more than he probably would want to come to me. I've also got like a little emergency water bottle there, as you can see, clipped onto the same thing. And he's already looking like he wants some water, but I'm going to try and save it a bit. I've got the Santa Cruz Bronson CC, and I've got him on a lead for now. I'm trying to teach him to stay on my left because I break with my right hand. So when I've got hold of a lead on my left, I can break with my right hand. So I'm naturally trying to get him always to come round my left like this. You ready? You want to go riding? That's what I say to him. I say, do you want to go riding? And he knows that we're about to ride. Now he's quite good already. Like he will stay on my left, as you can see now. I'm going to actually tilt it. With it be... Whoa. <laughs> caught on my hand. With it being a bit more about Django, I'm actually going to tilt it down today. So as you can see, it's quite good. It stays on my left. I'm actually going to take the fire roads today to like the Hope Line as a bit of a entry level trail for Django. Whoa, Django! Oh my God. I just ran into his head. What are you doing? See, I, normally I'm on an e-bike, so it'll be why he's quite confused because now I'm on a manual bike. Normally I'd be on my electric bike blasting it like 10 mile an hour so i think this pace is sort of confusing to him but i think it's got to be done because this bike's probably where i would ride more on a normal day but in the end he'll probably just know the two different bikes so basically this is sort of where he's at as you can see plodding along trodden next to me which is good but what i ideally would like would be that he would do this with both my hands on the handlebars in a minute, I'll show you what happens when I let go. He sort of sprints off and wants to do his own thing, which I don't mind, but I need to get it under handle so that I can do a bit more pretty focused. I want him to have a good time as well. That's what's more important to me than like the results I get. I want to be able to do what I do and do what he does as well. Oh, nearly stood in the poo there, Django. So then I'm going to put his lead around my waist. It's all new to me, this stuff. I don't really know that much about it or it's not something i've ever really been inspired to learn but i've sort of been left without a choice here so i've got to make it work with him it's going to be good right so you're off django behave yourself please okay this is good good so far django <laughs> oh my god django come back here come here what are you doing what are you doing? I'm not going anywhere till you come back to me. Come here. You can't do that. You're going to run into somebody. You're going to run into somebody. Should we try again? Round here. Round here. Round here. Django. Django. Django's literally like a full puppy in the head. Like he's, he's 11 months old, but he hasn't really done that much for his age. Especially like in this context, trails and bikes and stuff so he's like a newborn puppy mentally aren't you so you ready we're we gonna go again okay and calm good boy let's ride so he's pretty chilled this time i don't know what i did there differently good boy i think maybe he's used to the pace of the e-bike Which would probably be like a bit more like this pace now. <laughs> Django! Django! Hey! 
Come here. Django. I don't mind him going that far out. Maybe I'm being too strict. I don't actually care if he goes that far. He's a big forest. Maybe I should just let him ride with me and go with the flow. Soddy. It just doesn't really work if he goes really far in front on the tracks because then he'll stop to see where I am. I would have preferred it if he was more into being behind me. But maybe I just need to let him have a good ride today. Get it out his system and then see where we end up. Oh! Trail riding with daddy. You hear me, lad? We got plenty of this to come. He's loving it. So as you can see, he's pretty chilled. He is a pretty chilled trail dog. Definitely stuff I've got to work on, but for now, he's under one years old and he's all right. Obviously, I don't know how he is when he sees other trail dogs and other humans on bikes. But you know what? You only find out one way. So, I'm out riding. I've got Django with me. He's doing great, to be honest. He keeps coming back. He runs forward a bit, runs back, runs forward a bit, runs back. He's always keeping his eye out. He's always alert. Nice to have someone to ride with. A little riding buddy. The whole time I had a little riding buddy. I just needed to get out with him. So, yeah, that's where we're at, isn't it, Django? He's so sick. Such a nice dog. Django, good boy. Come on, good boy. Let's go. That was pretty good. He went over, his hair's up. Not sure what to think of that, but his hair's up like crazy. What are you like? What are you like? You just haven't done it much, have you? You just haven't done it much. It's my guess is right, Django's gonna run straight and I'm gonna turn right and then he's gonna know. Oh no, he's turned right. No, he's gone straight. Come on, lad. We're doing a climb. This is Django's very first intensive climb. And he is looking a lot slower. There's a big bowl of water at the top of this hill for you, Django. That's where we're at. We're going to go all the way up. I'm then going to give him some water. Then we're going to do the hope line and head back, maybe doing some of the tracks as well. I'm not expecting it to be the fastest ride. But it's a totally different type of ride, what I'm doing today. It's a bonding experience. With my new riding buddy. He's got more climbing him than me. Jesus! You're killing the climb, Django! Django, you're killing the climb! Your climb's rude! What gear are you in, lad? Full send! Doggy Joro. My climb's taking over Django's. Maybe the rocks are hurting his feet. Is it nice? You need to do it that way. You need to just give me a minute. It smells bloody lovely, that water. Only a dog like you could have this water over me. You tired? Do you want a minute? I do quite a lot with Django at the moment. I've been sort of aiming to get to this day. So I do do quite a lot with him, but... So it feels somewhat pointless if I just rag it down the hope line because I don't think that's like a good representation of what I need Django to do. I sort of need him to be calm and stay on track. So I might let him go in front of me and just watch how he is. Like I'll go super slow so he takes it easy and he goes slow and maybe just see what he sort of does. I've got a feeling he's going to bear off the track quite a lot, so end up in the bushes and the trees. But as long as I'm not going too fast, he might be okay. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to see how it goes. Stay tuned. This is going to be sick, in it, Django? You ready? Are you ready to go riding? Right. Let's just see how it goes. I don't know what he's going to be like. You ready? Go. Go. Go, you go in front. Okay, you want to stay behind me. So he's staying to the left of me right now, which is not bad. It works. I probably should have a different camera angle on. So as you can see, he's right here. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. 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 <laughs> go, Django. Oh, you no, no, no. 
Get back on the track. Django, Django. No, 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 no. Stay on the track. I don't know how to teach him to stay on the track. I would like to be able to. Then he might outrun me. He might do bigger drops than me. We don't want that, do we, Django? So go on, down here, good boy. No, 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 no. See, he's dropping the full cut through, which is just gonna get him hurt. If there's branches and rocks and twigs. Django, you gotta go this way, look, on the track. Yep, there you go. There you go, good boy, good boy, good boy. Oh, good boy. This way, Django. Good boy. Good boy. Are you a good boy? Ah, he's loving it. Over the jump, that was pretty steezy, that Django. Right, now we need to go down. You ready? You're doing quite well. You're doing quite well. Yeah, let's get your gravy bone for coming back to me. You're a good boy. You're a good boy, aren't you? You're a good boy. Here. Django. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, Django, go. Go, 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 go. Yep, that's it. That's the way. Oh, you're quite good. You're on the tracks already. This way, Django. Whoa! You nearly got me annihilated then, lad. Super slow. Probably feels insane to Django. Django, no, 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 no. This way. This way. Stay on the track. Good boy. He's getting better already, to be fair. He's getting better. You having a drink? He is getting a bit better. Oh my God, he's well boggy. That's going to take years off my camper van. Do I care? Not really. I don't want to put him through like being told off every two minutes just to run behind me. I don't mind if he wants to run out in front, but I just need him to not run through the bushes. But maybe I'm being too cautious. Maybe he needs to learn. This track's just the smoother way. Maybe he'll learn that on his own. I don't know. I'm hoping people will sort of get involved and tell me what you think. I think it's quite dangerous running through like all of this stuff because I think he could get impaled pretty bad. But I also don't want to shout at him every time he's doing something because I want him to enjoy his day. So I might just go a bit slower and see if he learns and then over time pick up the speed on our next ride or something. Are you sore? Are you sore? Are you sore, lad? You don't know what you're doing for the best. You want to get him out. You want to run with him. <laughs> he's like, oh my God, already. I can just tell him what he's like. He's not wanting to sit straight or anything. So I'm going to focus on getting him back now to the camper. I think we've done enough today. I'm going to go super slow still though and finish this hope line. And hopefully he can stay on the track a bit. I think I'm going to stop shouting at him because I don't think there's a point. Like, Django, get off there. I don't think there's a point. He's not listening. He's got red mist. I think if anything, I might be better stopping maybe. So he's being pretty good now. He's staying on the track if I'm a bit slower. So now I don't know why he's gone that way, but he has. Oh, did that not work for you? Hey, did that not work for you going that way? To be honest, I don't really mind as long as he's okay. I don't mind him like going his own way or something. Oh, oh. Oh. Hell yeah, Django. Hey, you smashed it then over them jumps, Django. Killing the game, lad. Killing the game, lad. So that'll do us for today, I'm pretty sure. I might try another little section on the way back to the van. Pretty calm pace now. As you can see, he's about two, four, two meters in front of me. Just taking it easy. This is sort of what I want him to do in the end. Just trust that I'm always gonna be there and that he doesn't need to check everything a thousand times. And I don't mind him doing that, like running through the trees and stuff. If that's what he likes to do, it's what he likes to do. I just want him to be all right and do a lot with him as well. Whoo! You good boy. You good boy. So, we're both destroyed. I'm pretty tired. I'm sort of non-stop at the moment, as you can imagine. Whew. Django's destroyed. He needs water desperately. So I'm going to wrap the video up there. 
Number one, I had a good time and I don't feel like I've been out on my own. I feel like I've been out with Django, which is cool. It's sick that. I also feel he just needs time to calm down and not be so crazy. It's pretty much his first proper ride. He was always going to like be jumping around and going crazy. I think in the end he'll calm down. He'll just run however he wants to run, but just stay on track. It's hard to talk and climb. Look at that. Sunshine. Bit of vitamin D. Didn't do anyone any harm, did it? And basically, that's going to be the end of today's video. Hope you've enjoyed. Any tips, ideas, anything you've got to say, get involved underneath the video and we'll chat down there. I want Django to have... To, I just want Django to do him. I just want him to be him. I want him to act like himself. And I'll adjust my life accordingly to that. I just need to get used to a new life. Man serves the dog, not dog serves the man. So yeah, that's going to be the end of today's video. Django, wait. I'm out showing my video, lad. You're going to have to wait. It's part of the game. It's part of the game. So that's going to be, that's going to be the end of today's video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Pretty casual, chilled little ride. It was more about Django than me. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got what you wanted out of it. And make sure you smash the like button for me because... You should ask people to do that type of stuff more because it does help with the algorithm on YouTube and helps with all like getting your content pushed and recommended and stuff. So smash the like button if you're hyped on today's video. Get down in the comments below and I'll see you down there and make sure you tune back in for the next video, which will be this weekend. I've got a crazy car show in Manchester called Fitted. I'm going to be documenting the whole thing. Get involved. See you on the weekend for the next video. Go and check out owner. Link is in the description. Free t-shirt or jersey with every single hoodie, jacket or joggers. So if you're ordering a hoodie, add yourself a free jersey. It's really simple. Thanks for the support. See you next time.